Today, we're talking about plenty of things, but in particular, grass. Grass, the FUD on grass is absolutely unreal. Let's dive into grass to start off with. So the grass airdrop checker is live. We can go and check it. Here is where the link is. Go and connect your wallet if you're actually using grass, and then you'll see how many tokens you've actually got. Now, the airdrop breakdown that they're giving is 10%. 10% is fine. This is a, a good size airdrop, and the total supply is 1 billion. Now, I've covered this in quite a good amount of detail in this post right here. For full context on grass, this is something that I used initially, and I didn't see the initial value, then I saw the value, then there was some FUD on the comments in the code that suggested they're using something they shouldn't be using that could allow access to your computer. So I said, I'm removing it until we find clarification. Then Dre, the actual founder of Grass, reached out. We had a big chat. I did a video. I'm happy with it. But I also gave a host of suggestions to them on how they can improve their transparency, some of which were done, many were not. And that's that's fine. Let's go through this. So people are not happy. If you jump into grass right now, the FUD is absolutely real. unreal. If you jump into Discord, it's going to be brutal, properly brutal. And it is what it is. Like what is, what are the pros and what are the cons? And should you be still using it? Nothing's going to be financial advice. I'm just going to tell you my honest thoughts as per normal. So we know the supply is 1 billion grass. We know there's over 1 million users. There are actually, there's more than that. And a lot of them will be Sybils. That is always going to be the case. There are, I've already received an email saying that they'll be marked as a Sybil. And essentially, if you've been marked as a Sybil, I, I can't help you. I don't have any pull with the team. I don't have the bandwidth to do so. So you'll have to jump into Discord and you'll have to work it out yourself. Most of their users will be Sybil attacking this for sure. You're going to get them from different countries which run these kind of airdrop farms just there to try and extract value. This is how it is, how it happened with Uprock, how it has been happening with Grass. So 10% is the first airdrop is what they say. So the first airdrop, it says it very, very clear here with 10% set aside for the first airdrop. So obviously they're going to airdrop more in the future. And 10% is still a decent amount because, I mean, there's 1 billion grass tokens. There's 100 million airdropped. And with that 100 million tokens, knowing that they have over 1 million users, probably upwards of like 2 million, like even if you got one tokens, you're kind of getting a fair amount. The issue is this token is not going to be worth very much unless, unless they can pull in some revenue. The NFTs, they minted from around 0.45 sold to 0.75. They're now over 2.5. Maybe it's worth taking profit on them. I'm unsure what they're doing today. This was yesterday. I don't have any. I've never bought any. I've never sold any. The points and pre-token trading absolutely tanked. This tanked on Wales market. I have no idea if they've actually launched a pre-market token yet. I haven't seen it. I don't even know what the points to token ratio actually end up being because in Discord, there are people with entirely different amounts. Maybe they'll marked as a Sybil. There's hopium out there for like, I need $10 per token to be worth my time. The honest truth is, all you really did is you installed an extension. And I don't want anyone to have this crazy amount of hopium. So $10 per token is just silly. Silly. If you get 100 and you make $1,000 by installing an extension and just letting it use some of your bandwidth, that is probably not worth $1,000. So this is silly. I'm thinking there's maybe a $40,000 market cap initially. I'm going on the low side just because it's September and then it's October and then we don't start to heat up until November. And, you know, they've got maybe $5 million of VC money. This is not something like super, super hyped. So this is my just speculation. 10% airdrop, 10% circulating, 200 mil supply. I'm thinking 20 cents per token. That's my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Now, Fabiano's done this. He's done it as a fully diluted valuation, which is fine, but I'd prefer maybe like market cap initially, which we don't know, I guess. So if the token price is 10 cents, then it's a dollar. I don't know why we're kind of jumping straight up to 50 cents, but maybe that's what he thinks it could be. But a $500 million FTV is silly. In my opinion, that's completely silly. So I'm thinking for 10 grass tokens, you're going to get $2. What are your thoughts on grass? I'm sure there's a lot of people that do not like this airdrop. Let me know. Now, with the dupes planetary call yesterday, they proposed that the 230 million unclaimed dupe from the first of January, will be used to extend and fund ASR for a few more seasons. That is the proposal. A vote will be coming live here. Long story short, people are wondering, what should I be doing with my dupe? Should I be farming it with dupe and soul on, on Meteor or Camino? Probably the best return is literally just to go and stake it in the active staking rewards. Now let's have a look at the actual general markets. So in the top 24 hours, up a little bit. We're at 133, BTC up slightly. ETH is still absolutely struggling, just having a lot of difficulty in general. And BNB is doing fine. And Cardano is kind of coming up a little bit as well for those people that are still hopeful about Cardano. Ton is not looking 
too good. And that's another ecosystem which I think has value, but Telegram's in a bit of trouble. So Japan is dropping the maximum tax rate on Bitcoin and crypto from 55% to 20%. So I think this is properly bullish. Unsure when this happens, but 55% tax is just stupid and 20% that is far more reasonable. Also, we're going to have potentially a 50 basis point rate cut in September. It's likely. Now, some people need it to, to be just really explained. When you don't understand something like basis points and that sort of stuff, just throw into ChatGPT. Essentially, it generally leads to following effects on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, increased investment in riskier assets, weaker US dollar, et cetera, et cetera. When you cut interest rates, prices, you know, risky assets, real estate stuff, they start to go up. The super team ecosystem call is back. It's on right now. So we're going to sum this up fairly quickly so you can jump into that if you're keen. We've got Raj on and there's generally a decent amount of alpha in these. They only happen once a month. Cube, this is the other big news. I know I've been telling everyone that I'm going to do a tutorial and I haven't. I've got a referral code, it's linked below. Cube is like a competitor backpack exchange, but Cube is available in markets that that backpack exchange isn't. This is going to be where I'm going to put most of my volume through, to be perfectly honest, because I think this is a worthwhile rewards system. That's what I believe is going to be the case. You can't get an early with any top tier exchanges. This is not a top tier exchange, of course. It's from uh, B&J Studios, essentially, or like Bartosz and Jordan are part of it. And they were like early Solana foundation devs. They've got plenty of money. You know, they want to have pride in their work. They, they want to be respected. And I think they're going to try and do whatever they can to make this successful. And I think that also is a different route from a typical exchange where they don't reward their community. So in order to capture users, there will be rewards. Now, I've also done a thesis video on why Camino will be number one. Look, people, I have Camino tokens. I bought Camino tokens. I've earned Camino tokens. If my bag goes up, I will sell some of my Camino tokens because that's what you should do. Not financial advice, but you take profits. Every now and then, I'm going to get a video like out like this and someone's going to say something like, there's a comment down here below. Let's see. How much are they paying? I mean, it could just be cheek, right? Why not compare against Drift, Dupe, or MarginFi? Talk about all these things all the time. MarginFi's TVL has dropped. Camino's hasn't. Drift? Drift doesn't offer these four different products. Dupe doesn't offer these different products. Dupe is also trading at a much higher token valuation. I think that's pretty understandable. That's why I like Camino. Magic Eden marks six months as top marketplace with 37% share. I don't think back in any way, but ultimately, if you are into NFTs, you have to work out, are you using Tensor? Are you using Magic Eden in order to try and extract some value from these marketplaces? Now, the ME token, some people said it's going to be quite low like grass. It's not going to be low like grass, in my opinion, because it has far more value. Like they've, they've already captured revenue, whereas grass has not. So I'm not buying it. I don't have many to sell, so I'm not selling them. I'm not bullish on it. I think Magic Eden, I'll use it. Tensor, I'll use it. But these are not things that I find have a lot of proper value to me. And with my thesis, that's more DeFi, maybe some early gems, hopefully some good deep and stuff. And whatever the narrative kind of builds. Polygon, if you use it over there, there's a retro diamond drop is live. There is no claim. Just check your Polygon wallets. I don't really understand how this works. Like, just check your wallet. Just maybe just go and connect your wallet. And you can see if you had some points, I guess. Also, I mean, Magic Eden in general, they are moving to multiple other blockchains. So this was kind of bearish in the in the bear market. And people said, like, why are you leaving Seoul? They're not, they weren't leaving Seoul. They put effort into other areas a little bit too early, like with the case of Polygon. But then again, something like Base will probably heat up quite nicely. So the token could potentially has, have value as they will likely overtake OpenSea and then everyone else. Iggy, happy to announce that Mother has been integrated as the official crypto payment of Breakaway Fest. Tickets and VIP passes purchased with our token unlock a 20% discount. So if you want to check this out, go for it. I haven't actually looked into it. Just letting you know that there's going to be a little bit of hype with Mother. Maybe you want to add some and then take profit on it, of course. With me, I'll add a little bit and I'll set a limit order just on dupe. If it, if it pops, it pops, but this is not something crazy that I'm keen on. The volume on whiff is something else absolutely unreal. So the next time this kind of bottoms or reaches the bottom, how I mentioned yesterday, we'll do a better chart to show maybe where like support and resistance is. But this could be something that you want to swing trade or just if to make it easy, just buy a bag at a low price, low price and just set it, not trying to be too greedy because it does have crazy amount of volume. Bonk is still my favorite, of course. Serial rug pulls pulled, launched 16,000 rugs in the past three months. They steal millions each week, so they've built rug detector to protect you. You can use this, also rug check. This is just one of the tools you can use. 
essentially, if you're going to be degening into these things, every now and then, one person's going to make it most of the time, you're going to lose bank. And this is going to be the case like 99.9% of the time. This is really cool. So this is just another way how I think Bonk is going to outperform with, even though it's not showing in the volume right now, but it's just more relevant. So the only non breaks a Guinness World Record for the most dogs walked at once. And he's not the founder. He's an He's a, like an early contributor. That's what they call the early contributors. Either way, kind of cool. Just getting Bonk more on the map for people that don't know it. And get ready to set sail on the biggest, baddest yacht in Singapore for open vessel powered by Bonk. Join us here. There's exclusive prizes and a night of legendary networking spots. So it's rare as pirate gold. So register now. I haven't even registered yet. Go and check it out. If you're going to Singapore, this would be 100% worthwhile. I don't know. So two are going thus far. I'm sure we'll do a refresh. Two are going. However, maybe they're the only ones that have actually been like approved. I imagine this will, there'll be a lot of people wanting to go. And remember, Breakpoint, it's not too late. The value from Breakpoint, I think, is worthwhile if you can afford it. 500 bucks to get there for a ticket and then probably five grand all up when you factor in flights and accommodation. Token 2049, pay with USD. I'm going to be able to say this in like January, like you should have been there. It's going to be obvious for those that could afford it. Use my code SEBMONTY10, just get you 10% discount. This ends tomorrow. After that, I don't think it's going to be really worth it. And then you can watch my pretty face here, talk about Singapore if you need some information on that. Remember this, I keep on doing it because I'll, I'll mention it less. I know it's repetitive, but start to actually go for any events that you're keen on. Otherwise, you're going to miss out. Now, I just found this a couple of days late, but Devin Labs, these guys work in the, the $1 trillion asset class, which is wine, wine, like luxury wine, which is massive. And this is a pretty cool idea. I've been doing a little bit of research. And basically, if you're going to be at Breakpoint, then they're going to have a whole lot of these champagne bottles, two and a half thousand bottles of limited edition rare champagne, each adorned with a Breakpoint label, which doesn't look very fancy, but I'm sure the champagne would be nice. And these these give you 3,000 VIN tokens in a digital cork NFT. And this, like, if you go to Breakpoint, make sure you get these and you have to, you have to share them with fri five friends to maximize the airdrop. So I'm just going to be going around as many people that have these bottles. I'm just going to be like, Do you, can I be your friend? I would like some of these tokens. I think this would be quite cool. It's a very novel way to do this. They're also giving some details, I think, on on their launch. Like they're announcing the fact that they're going to have like a token launch or something. So not a lot of interaction on this. So I'm calling this out now because this is early. This is one of the things. Look, 12 likes. Follow D Labs. Even if you're not a wine drinker, I, I don't even drink alcohol these days, but I see the value in this market. So the founder of Aave is selling Aave. Always like er everyone's welcome to take profit on their own tokens, but it's kind of bearish, right? So just letting you know, maybe another reason why Camino could, will do well. Then again, community teams are also going to sell their tokens, but he's selling his Aave tokens. If I feel like if you really believed in your token and its value to the ecosystem, do you really need $6 million? Like he would order, already be worth hundred, like over a hundred million is what my prediction is. But I don't know the full details, just letting you know what we can see on chain. So rumors are flying, but here's a real story behind a World Liberty Financial. Plenty of engagement. So once again, it doesn't matter if you're left or right, if Kamala goes and creates her own project, worthwhile. 10 different politicians do it with traction. It's worth looking at it. So I'm not going to go through it. It's going to interest some people. It's not going to interest other people, but go and, and check this out. Give it a like, whatever. This is very interesting. So Mastercard launches a crypto debit card in Europe, allowing users to spend from self-custodial wallets at 100 million merchants, which is great. I was just the other day, I was asking, what can we do like without foreign transaction fees? However, the fees of Mercio, which I don't think, maybe I've got this wrong slightly. I need to see what the fees are for this because it says Mercio fee, buying, selling. I think this is competitor and now this is what they are. So we need to see what their fees are. Let's have a look here. I think we're okay. I, I think this card or the fact that more credit cards are coming out, this didn't happen a couple of cycles ago. Now it's coming very relevant. So just make sure you're not overpaying for any fees. Otherwise, you're just going to miss out on like 4%. And all, we're in the section of now like other blockchain non-Solana news. So near protocols account has been compromised. It's all a lie, which is absolutely crazy. And then you come down. Do you have to use caps locks all the time? Sometimes it's not that urgent. You know what? When you've been breached, it's fairly, fairly urgent. They managed to, of, of course, get it back. And here is it. Here it is. Either way, it's just like operational security is so important. If you use MetaMask, check your portfolio. You might have a ticket. This relates to a MetaMask card. So the MetaMask card is once again where you can spend your crypto. People want to be able to spend their crypto. And 
this makes it a lot easier. So I think this is really cool. This is only available apparently in the UK and EU residents only for now. Let's jump into some actionables. Nothing, of course, will ever be financial advice. Play some stink bids on Seoul. Book your tickets to Breakpoint and Token 2049. Also, if you want to jump onto that bonk ship and any other side events, get in now. If you're trading meme coins, use Pocket Universe to detect rugs. Watch the recap of the Solana ecosystem call today or join join it. And maybe you want to hold a small bag of mother and set some sell limit orders. This is not financial advice, but it could do well with the, you know, with a good party over there. Airdrop actionables, check your grass allocation. If you're not happy with it, fart away, by all means, jump into the Discord and, and whatnot. But I would just suggest just, just move on, move on. Pre-order the Sui Play OX1 for future airdrops. I, I've done one. I'm going to do another one today. Check your Polygon wallets for Magic Eden Diamonds. This is for people like who had a Ute or something that, you know, migrate across or bought one over there, sold one, and use the Cube Exchange and earn some blocks there. I'll have my referral link below. Check that out. Before Saturday, I will do a tutorial on using Cube Exchange. I promise. Apologies for the delay. That's over today. Catch you in the next video.